What up everyone? Welcome to my next vlog on teeth and turbos. I am introducing to you my dream garage build. Now it is a three car, but I hope some of y'all can relate. I know a lot of y'all have two car or even one car garage right now. I've got one so small. I can't even fit any car in it. So we are upgrading. We're moving not too far from where we live now. It is the dream of my fiance to live in the city near somewhere she can work out and have access to a close grocery stores. So Living on an acreage isn't in our plans yet, but it's definitely my dream. So I'm gonna work with what I got. We've got this three car garage. Let me kind of show you what I'm doing to make it my dream garage. Hey y'all, I wanna show you something a little special I've been working on. This is the home that I've been working on building with Jim Taki Homes in Sarasota, Florida. And I am going ham on this garage. So I wanna show you what the project entails and I'm gonna get started today on painting the garage doors. So first let's go through it. Yes, it's a pretty stock three car garage, but moving in word, I'll show you what my plans are. What I'd like to do, I've got the garage doors and they're nothing crazy. They're pretty much a blank slate on the front, but what I'm doing is painting everything black. So this whole wall is gonna be black. All of the hardware is at powder coat right now. I'm getting the tracks, I'm getting all of the hinges. Everything is gonna be powder coated black and the garage doors are gonna be painted black and I'm also doing jack lift openers. So instead of it coming down the middle, like you traditionally see in garage doors, the garage door opener is actually gonna sit in the corner right here, and just like you see on commercial doors. So this is something that my buddy at Southwest Garage Doors in Phoenix, Arizona does a lot, and I just love the look of it. It is so clean, and so I really wanted to do it for myself. Now, this space is pretty limited in here. Like I said, it's kind of a traditional three car, but my goal is to have some kind of lift in here, whether it be like a two post with, that doesn't connect on top, but or something, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm in touch with some companies right now in regards to getting that put in, but I already have it wired up for 110, lots of 110 outlets all the way around. This is gonna be kind of my work area. We're gonna have 220 there for the welders. Prime Weld sent me a MIG, a TIG, and a stick welder, so I'm really excited. It's actually one of my goals for 2022 is to really dive in and learn how to weld and get a lot of experience doing that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the garage and my plans right now. So what I'm gonna do today is get some saw horses built, get these garage doors up on the saw horses, wiped down, cleaned up, and get ready to spray them because they wanna come early this week to get them up and hung. Ladies and gents, I want to present to you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven painted garage doors. I still have three more to go, but look at how awesome this is turning out. Yeah, there's a little bit of imperfection, but it's just the inside of garage doors. The outside's going to be painted just pretty much a similar color, but my plan is to get that entire wall black with all the hardware, all the doors, everything. So this is a good place to start. This is going to be my dream garage build, so thanks for tagging along and watching the process. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I'm using Bare Ultra Paint because I'm painting over wood, stucco, metal. So I went all out and bought the best paint. It is a satin black color. Let's look at it here so that y'all know what it is. It is their satin black, yep. And I'm using a Graco sprayer. I've had great luck with these in the past. They work really well, especially when you're painting a big surface area. Yeah, you need to back roll it, but since I'm spraying straight onto stucco, I'm not too worried about that. I'm excited for the transformation this wall is going to bring because like I've told you before, I'm doing black doors, black tracks. 
the jack lift openers and painting the entire wall black. So it should bring a really clean look instead of having, you know, just your regular garage. Another difference that I requested was to run these tracks all the way to the ceiling. A lot of times you'll see guys run the tracks to the top of the garage doors and bring it out and then it's hanging pretty low. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the tracks all the way to the ceiling, jack lift openers, and that way it keeps your opener from hanging down right in the middle. I'm gonna be using all those outlets for, for lighting. Also doing an epoxy floor and somehow getting a lift in here is my goal. So this is gonna be a neat one. I know I'm not working with a lot of space, but I'll explain to y'all why I'm choosing to do like a three car garage. I think a lot of y'all can relate to this. Even just having a two, currently I even have a one car garage. This is pretty standard and I'm not at the point where I'm gonna live on 20 acres and have a big barn dominium. My fiance really enjoys living in the city, living close to our gym and the commodities of going to the grocery store and things like that. She moved across the country to be with me. So the least amount I can do is allow her to live where she wants to live in Sarasota. So. doors hung ching 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 black hardware this thing's gonna be looking good all right i got a few other plans for the garage so i'm gonna kind of walk you around obviously this is where you come in this will be like a little laundry room but you walk in and i'm gonna probably reserve this spot for caroline and then this spot right here my truck's not gonna fit so take that out of the question it's way too long with the long box i might be able to squeeze it in here but i don't like pulling in and having to squeeze my car in the garage overnight. I'd rather just leave my truck outside, but got room for the Hellcat, Dr. Pepper. And then if I'm gonna put the lift and hopefully hang the Can-Am above that or put the Mustang on top and the Can-Am underneath. Over here, I wanna do a big tool wall. There's some pretty cool ones. I'm gonna put you a picture in the video here. They did a really awesome job for George on his tool wall. And then over here, I would kinda of wanna build like a welding station. Prime Weld sent me some welders. They sent me a three-in-one TIG MIG stick and then also their Big Dog TIG 225. And I wanna get those set up. I already got it wired for 220. Get a nice welding bench here and tools and everything tucked into this. Editing this video, I freaking forgot to film an outro again. I will get better with this, but I wanna leave y'all with something. Check out the new Dr. Parker logo. I gotta say, it looks very similar to a certain beverage that I really, really enjoy, but I am fired up about this. I was gonna wait until 100,000 subscribers to throw it on a t-shirt, but we're doing it now. It's coming to baldeagle.com soon, and I'll let you know when it's up, but for now, go buy some Cletus merch. We've got some awesome events coming up. Cletus and Cars, Freedom 500 is three weeks away. Let's go. I can't wait to bring you all this content. Subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next episode. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's Basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.